This has been the perfect opportunity to catch up on all the TV shows and all the movies and all the forms of entertainment that I have just been too busy to sit down and check out. I've had a lot more time to delve into some of the books on my shelf. One that I want to recommend to you is Unbroken. Three movies that I recommend for you to all watch is Trolls, Life Size featuring Tyra Banks, and Breakfast at Tiffany's. Recently I just bought This is the Day by Tim Tebow and Girls Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. I'm reading this book called Creative Visualization and it's about using the power of your imagination to create the life that you want. It's How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And one of my favorite books to read is The Secret Life of the Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. Not only is it a book, but they also turn it into a movie. So if you're looking for a book to read or a movie to watch, you can definitely check out Secret Life of the Bees. My favorite TV show, which is all American. My favorite show right now on Netflix is called The Haunting of the Hill House. Agatha Christie and Then They Were None. I love mystery novels and if you do too, then I recommend this one for you. I also love Dr. Pimple Popper because I personally want to be a dermatologist in the future. So this book, Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks, is considered a textbook for my school, is You Thrive. And it's really all about transferring into adulthood and transferring into college life. George Orwell's 1984. He wrote this book in 1949 and he predict, and this is what he predicted the future would be like in 1984. I like the classics, of course, like Bridesmaids, um, Step Brothers. I just watched To All the Boys I've Loved Before. The Harry Potter series. My family actually just got done doing a marathon. I read it for the first time when I was living in Italy and it's Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It's this little book of mindfulness. And I think it's super important to have a book like this, especially during these times of uncertainty. It's titled Relationship Goals and it is by Pastor Michael Todd. Probably one of my favorite shows ever. It's called Once Upon a Time. And if you are a Disney fanatic like me, you are going to love this show. The show that I have been binge watching all over again is Gossip Girl because you truly cannot get enough Gossip Girl in your life. For books, I recommend Below the Surface by Karen Harper. For movies, I recently watched Mary Queen of Scots. Loved that movie. Growing up, I always used to watch The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It's just, I love Will Smith, he's hilarious. Some books I would recommend are Tuesdays with Maury, the Sugar Baron's Daughters book series. For shows, I really, really love the show This Is Us. Less by Andrew Sean Greer. It literally takes you around the world, draws you in, puts a big smile on your face by the end. I really hope this is made into a movie because it was so much fun to read. The Netflix fans out there, I highly recommend Elite and Money Heist. Both of them are Spanish TV shows that you can watch with subtitles. I'm reading this book by Dr. Daniel G. Amen, and he is a doctor who specializes in mental health. And a book that I've read recently that I loved was There There by Tommy Orange. It's how to work a room and it really teaches you how to make connections with people and really put yourself out there. I recommend reading Michelle Kwan's The Winning Attitude. I first read this book when I was learning how to ice skate. American Panda, and it is by Gloria Chow. So what I love about this book is that it is so relatable, especially for a diverse female teen in our world today. Isle of Dogs, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and The Royal Tenenbaums. Bombs. Obsessed with watching, I cannot stop watching it over and over again, is Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. Some of my favorite movie series to watch with my family is Star Wars, Jurassic Park, and pretty much anything that's on the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> One of my favorite movies to watch right now is Crazy Rich Asians. It's Crash Landing on You, which is on Netflix, and it's about a South Korean woman who gets trapped in North Korea. And one of my favorite movies that I just recently watched was Bombshell. The Wolves by Sarah Delap. I have to put a play on there. Becoming by Michelle Obama. This is an autobiography about her life. I can't wait to see the wisdom she drops in this one. The Hate You Give. It is about police brutality from a young girl's perspective. Next, I am reading I Am Malala. It is written by Malala Yousafzai herself, who is incredibly inspirational as a young woman. I have been watching The Great British Baking Show on Netflix. Back to the Future, it's a classic. My top five are Supernatural, Criminal Minds, You, Grey's Anatomy, and Stranger Things. I've been reading Dare to Lead by Brittany Brown. It's an amazing book. And I've also been watching Ozark on Netflix. I watched a little bit of Tiger King, but I don't think it deserves the hype.